Imagine coming home, excited to share how your day went, only to see your partner buried in their phone, book or watching TV and barely acknowledging your presence. It's not that they don't care, they might just be speaking a different love language. Stay tuned as we're going to unpack what that really means and how to tune into each other's frequency. And don't miss out. At the end of this video, I'll reveal a simple trick to instantly connect with your partner, even in silence. Hello, welcome back to Couch Psychology, Life and Love Explained. Today, I'm going to delve into a truly fascinating subject that affects us all, the intricate dance of love languages in relationships. In our journey through life and love, understanding the concept of love languages is like finding a secret map that reveals how to treasure each, is, each other's emotional world. Misunderstandings and love can leave us feeling like we're speaking foreign languages, unable to communicate our deepest needs and desires. Today, we will explore the subtle signs that suggest your partner might be expressing their affection in a language that's different to your own. Why is this crucial? Because recognising and adapting to each other's love language can transform your relationship from frustrating to fulfilling. We'll go through six key indicators that might suggest a mismatch in your love communication styles, from missed cues to unmet emotional needs. Understanding these signs will provide you with practical steps to enhance your emotional connection. Let's get started. One, appreciation misfires. Often we express love in a way we'd like to receive it. If your partner is showering you with gifts when you really crave quality time, they might not be speaking your love language. This misalignment can lead to feelings of underappreciation as your true emotional needs remain unmet. It's not about the materialistic value, but the emotional currency behind the action. Understanding this can prevent feelings of neglect and build a bridge between your emotional worlds. Two, lack of reciprocity in communication styles. Communication is a fundamental aspect of any relationship. If your deep, heartfelt conversations are met with short, enthusiastic responses, it could be a sign of differing love languages. For some, affirming words are their primary way of expressing love, while others might prefer showing care through actions. Recognising this can turn frustrating dialogues into opportunities for growth, ensuring both partners feel heard and valued. Three. Differing priorities in spending time together. Does it feel like pulling teeth to get your partner to spend time with you? They might not be disinterested, but rather have a different interpretation of quality time. For some, presence is about physical proximity. For others, it's about undivided attention and engagement. Identifying this discrepancy can transform your together time into a more fulfilling experience for both of you. Four. Misunderstood acts of service. Actions speak louder than words for some people. If your partner is constantly fixing things around the house or cooking meals, but seems aloof when you have expressed emotional concerns, they might be speaking through acts of service. Understanding this love language can help you see their actions as expressions of love and care, rather than as neglect of your emotional needs. Five, physical touch more than just intimacy. For some, physical touch is the cornerstone of emotional connection, not just sexual intimacy. If your partner frequently reaches for your hand or embraces you, they might also feel connected through touch. Recognising this can enhance your physical closeness and deepen your overall bond, making every touch a word of love. Six gift-giving misinterpretations. If your partner often gives gifts but forgets important dates, their primary love language might be gift-giving. This act is their way of showing they care, hoping each gift speaks of their affection. Understanding and appreciating this effort 
can mitigate feelings of disappointment over missed occasions and reframe your perception of what each gift represents. As we wrap up today's discussion, it's clear that understanding and adapting to each other's love languages is not just about smoothing over daily interactions. It's about deeply connecting and thriving together in a partnership. Remember, love languages can evolve. So keep the lines of communication open. Regularly check in with each other's needs. Before we conclude, let me share the simple trick I promised earlier. Start a daily ritual of sharing one thing you appreciated about each other every day. This practice can help you both tune into each other's love languages and deepen your connection. If you feel this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it with someone who might benefit from understanding more about love languages. Your engagement helps us grow and continue providing valuable insights and advice. Until next time, keep leaning into love and understanding in your relationships.